the healthcare stuff, check out the election reform stuff, and uh, you'll find out I'm, I'm very objective. You sound very reasonable. Yeah. Very and good. I hope you can say the same about John. Hey, John. John Russell, man for Congress, 2006 2008. Uh, I'm in favor of Medicare for All plan, not the Obama plan, because it's being constructed by the insurance industry and the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, through the campaign contributions. You're saying the bill is currently going, the bill, the bills the, going through Congress are being constructed by the The, bill, the bills in the Senate, which is going to, is the favorite bill of the uh, Obama administration, the grassley bought this, uh, what I call legislative well, does, does abortion. Does Obama even know what he's talking about? Sometimes I wonder. Okay. No, I don't wonder, because every day the message is different, and every day there's a different boogie person out there. No argument here. No, we're not We're not arguing at that point. What we're arguing for is for legitimate health care reform where it's not socialized medicine, it's not free, people pay into a Medicare for All plan, expanding Medicare. It's you portable. May be, you may be a med absolutely, is Medicare not portable? Are you a Medicare person? Yes, I am. Okay, there you go. I so would like it, to be. You're in the government's single payer health care plan. It, it is bankrupt, too. And you know, no, it is. Well, how would it not be bankrupt? If you have Medicare for All, you got people like me and Jerry and Sharice and this guy who decide to pay into Medicare, Okay, a reasonable premium based on their their income. Right. No, okay, and with a cap on it, so Warren Buffett doesn't pay any more than Donald Trump, the cap, and you get access to all the reasonable health care you want. Maybe we're not talking non-medically necessary cosmetic surgery, stuff like that, but we're talking about PET scans, CAT scans, chemotherapy, whatever it is you need to, to live because you've been a good citizen, trend, okay, and you paid in the program based that. on your ability. So I'm entitled. So, so you, you, you don't want to, well, if you're a member of the plan, yes, you are entitled by virtue of your membership in the plan, just like you're entitled to Medicare, Medicare as it stands right now because you pay your Medicare Part B premiums, maybe your Part D premiums, your paying into a, a plan that uh, if you need it, when you need it, you access those you know, benefits. You know, you may be preaching to the choir because I'm not saying there isn't reform needed. There is reform needed. There you go. I get that. Yeah, that's exactly it. John, oh, yeah. Hey. Hi, hon. How are you? Yeah. I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah. And but, so that's what I've been preaching, but, and that's why I'm not. Uh, that's why I'm but not, not. Not not single source like 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 he wants. You are the, in a, you are a member of a single payer plan right yeah. now, Medicare. And, and, it's it's going, and it's going bankrupt. No, it isn't. It's oh, yes, it is going it's bankrupt. Not, they're, they're, not the numbers. They, listen, if you do what I'm suggesting, what I have suggested for the last six years, it doesn't go bankrupt because you have low users of health care paying into the system. Okay? Uh, and so the physical integrity of, of Medicare is buttressed by having all these non-users of health care. Now, you maybe right now aren't a big user, but maybe in 10 years you will be. And, and you know, we have the aging of the population. Well, the, the highest percentage is in the last year or last two years of life. And, and we and, talked about that, and we I, have to address that issue. And I understand that. Yeah, we and have I, to address it. You know, I don't have a specific answer for that. All I know is you get, you get the government involved in something. What has the government... But you're involved in the government right now. And Medicare, let me just say about Medicare. 95 cents of every dollar that goes through Medicare goes to the bedside. When you talk about the private health insurance industry, yeah. Humana, uh, you know, Aetna, Blue Cross, whatever you want to talk about, there, at best case scenario, 65, 70 cents goes to the bedside, okay. and it's based on all their marketing, uh, all you know, salaries. The the